Coming up this fall, she is one of six newcomers for the Liberty Lady Flames basketball team. Anna Carolina Jesus joins us here from Portugal in her <laughs> homeland as uh, she gets set to join the Lady Flames. And Anna, we appreciate you taking a few moments for us. Hope you and your family yeah. are staying safe in the midst of this worldwide pandemic. And that's the thing. This, this thing really is worldwide. And at the time of this taping, uh, some of the stay-at-home restrictions are starting to be uh, at least considered to be lifted. Uh, tell us about how things are going over in Portugal right now for you and uh, just how life has been there. Yeah, um, so here uh, in Portugal, we were in lockdown uh, until uh, May 2nd, and they lift that up, but we still try not to go outside, and, you know, uh, I, I try to, to go outside for running or to work out uh, or for groceries, but I just been staying home and uh, sp uh, spending time with, with my family. Well, spending time with family is never a bad thing. Uh, certainly the circumstances yeah. you wish were better. But uh, you mentioned going outside, running, staying in shape, things like that. Do you have a basketball goal nearby, uh, something at your house maybe? Or have you been able to shoot ball much lately? Yeah, I, I, I actually went yesterday, like for the first time since I got here, because uh, I was really waiting for them to – you know, to tell us that we, we could go outside. Um, so we, we had a, a lot of basketball courts uh, in the neighborhood. And, but usually I just run uh, with that ball and, and try to stay in, in shape. Well, Anna, tell us about, uh, and, and we're certainly glad that you and your family are doing well, it sounds like, uh, in the midst of all this. But tell us about how the recruiting process went for you and how you learned about Liberty. Yeah, um, the recruiting process with Liberty was very different from all of the, all of the other schools that I talked with. Um, since, since ever, uh, I felt like they really wanted me because uh, there's some ways that you, you talk to a college and they never text you again or they call you like months later. And with Liberty, the thing was like any other couple of weeks, they would call me or they would text me. And, you know, I, I, I talked to my coach, I did my research on the school and, you know, I just felt like it was a great fit for me and feeling that they wanted me uh, made me feel safe about it. Now, you, you've played on Portugal's uh, U16, U18, and U20 national teams here over the last uh, few years. You averaged 10.4 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds as a post player, and uh, won the silver medal at the 2015 European Championship. Now, all of that, and then you still came stateside here recently as well to play at Elevation Prep Academy down in Florida where you averaged 11 points to uh, lead your team there. How important was it for you, even despite, you know, having all of the success in, in Europe, how important was it for you to get into the United States and play some basketball here before going to college? Yeah, um, that was something that I wanted to do. And uh, because uh, Europe basketball is, is always different. Uh, even though when you're playing against different countries and all of them bring a different game and being able to go to the United States and see like how the game really is and it's a different pace um, it's more of a individual game a one-on-one -on -one game things that I didn't have here even on the national team is more uh, of a of a, a team thing you know so going to to the prep school and I think having this um, you know having this 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 role where I had to, to score more where I had to to play more one on one stand off trying to play the plays uh, it really helped me see how the game was and to and to get more ready for, for college. Anna, Liberty has had its share of successful post players uh, come out of here. One of them is now on the coaching staff and Katie Feenstra Matera, an All-American, and helped take this program to the Sweet 16 a few years back. Uh, how important was that to you, knowing that you were going to be working with some coaches and a program that 
have uh, been able to develop post players at a very in a very good way. Um, it's uh, it's really great and and also different because playing here uh, in Europe, you 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 kind of don't get that that post um, game like on practice, you know, because sometimes it feels like the practice is made for, for the small one and you don't have like a really uh, um, uh, and, and wide time to, to, to practice these, these things. So I think that going to, to college and knowing that I will, I will be able to work with people that, are, that, that play where I play and, and know where I go to in the, in the court is going to be very good for me. Now, today's post player is uh, quite a bit different than it was, you know, even 15, 20, 25 years ago. Uh, the post players have become a lot more versatile in the game. Uh, how does your game uh, compare with that of today's post players? And are you, uh, I guess, more versatile in that way? I mean, are you, you know, stepping out shooting threes? Where, where, where's your comfort zone at? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm trying to 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 step out and to trees, but uh, I think that uh, I'm not like a player that only plays uh, with their back from to the basket. Um, I like to shoot uh, around the block. I think I can step out uh, and play uh, one on one uh, fronting the basket. So like it 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 is very different. Um, but you know, I'm not the the big center that that can get out and, and, and do something. What are you most looking forward to about college? And you, you talked about doing your research at, at Liberty. What did you find and uh, what, um, what excites you the most about coming here? Um, I think was uh, the best book program was very uh, similar to the one that I had here. Uh, with my team and the film school, there was something that, that you know is not always about uh, about basketball, you know, because um, after the four years you got to do something. And seeing the uh, Liberty had a great film program that most of the schools don't have, and that really catch my eye. Uh, like the basketball and the film program, everything was just like a perfect fit. Last couple of things here, Anne. I was reading a little bit from your uh, prep coach down in Florida. Uh, she said that you're very hardworking, you're headstrong, and you're harder on yourself than people, other people, even her, even her, your coach, would be. Where do you get that work ethic? Where do you get that drive from? Um, I think uh, the national team helped me a lot because – Going to the national team uh, in a young age, you've got that as uh, like a senior level because you know you have like a month and a half to to prepare for for big games, and that 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 discipline of having to work hard every day or twice a day, and you know getting to practice at nine a.m. then getting to practice at four, uh, and having this going for a month, uh, it just that's really got me like on a place where I knew that I had to work to 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 get there. All right, last few few things here. I want to get into a little bit of rapid fire. What's your favorite food? Oh, favorite food. That's hard. I think um, any type of fast food. Uh, my my mom's food. What what kind of fast food do you have in Portugal? Uh, we have McDonald's. Yeah. KFC, Subway. We, we don't have a lot like like you guys have there, so it was like a few things. <laughs> what uh what what type of music are you listening to right now? Um I would say more indie type maybe. I, I listen to anything that, that appears is what I like. And who is probably your biggest basketball influence on you growing up? Uh, best boy. Um, I would have to say um, my first coach because she was like she was a really tough coach for someone that was coaching uh, under 14. So I think that 
the way that I am now is is very due to 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 her being very hard uh, on me since since ever. Like even when I didn't know how to play, she was very hard. She would never like sugarcoat me uh, in any form. So yeah. Good stuff, Anna. We appreciate your time, and again, stay safe over there. Okay. And we look forward to having you here on campus at Liberty uh, here real soon. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.